detail. As you can see, the top and bottom edges are peeling back. It's time to replace it. Most people choose to use a similar privacy film, while others use either a limo black film or a mirror film. I have something else in mind. First, we remove the old film. Well, that was simple. Now the window has to be cleaned. I start with using isopropyl alcohol to clean any glue residue. Then, I use a standard glass cleaner to clean the window. the window and create a template to cut the new window film. The opening allows me to choose the design area of new film that I want to keep since it is larger than the motorhome window. The new film cut larger than the window area. The outer edge of the template was used to determine that. The spray bottle is filled with dish detergent and water and sprayed on the entire area making it all sloppy wet. This helps the film cling better and allows for alignment. Using two pieces of duct tape on each side of the film, Protective sheet comes off easily. Now the fun begins. I place the film lightly on the window and secure the center section. Then I use my fingers to push the film on the window from the center to the edges. I try to work out as many air bubbles as possible from behind the film so it would adhere to the window for the next part.
using a sharp exacto knife well mine isn't as sharp as it should be but I'll make it work I begin to cut along the edges of the window along the feeding Cutting along the straight edges is moderately easy. However, cutting around the corners, well, that's a little tricky. Once the cuts are made and the unused part is tossed away, it's time to give your fingers a workout. I would use a squeegee, but I didn't see one small enough for this job. So, from the center of the window, firmly coax the air bubbles towards the edge. This is a very time-consuming task. Sometimes it seems a new air bubble appears over the area you just completed. You just have to keep at it. Hey, what else have you got to do on a Saturday afternoon? Watch YouTube videos? Once you think you have all the air bubbles out, or at least you ignore the tiny ones, it's time to let the glue set up. It doesn't take long for the adhesive to firm up enough so the door can be closed and the heater turned back on. With the sun shining through the door, here is what the new film looks like from the inside.